Hey everyone, today we are going to be troubleshooting our engine problem because we cannot get Blue Moon's engine to start. If you're new to the channel, we live on a 30-foot Catalina sailboat and we have an M25 universal diesel engine. It is an inboard, so it sits right sort of like underneath the galley and we've been having a tough time starting it after a winter sitting at the docks. So we're gonna pull everything apart, take a look. We think one of the issues is the solenoid, so we're gonna change that. We're hoping that's it. We're gonna check some of the wires and go from there. There are typically two main issues if the engine won't start, either an electrical issue or an issue with the fuel. In our case, the engine wouldn't turn over, which signaled that there was likely an issue with the electrical system. The solenoid acts as a switch to deliver large current from the battery to the starter on the engine. The solenoid is linked to the glow plugs and starter, which means that a faulty solenoid would likely stop the engine from starting. There are many different symptoms of a faulty solenoid. In our case, when we tried to start the engine, we could hear a click when we pushed the starter button, but the engine wouldn't turn over. There it is. This has got to be one of the worst designs ever. <laughs> I do not like it. <laughs> Here's the engine. And, oh, thank you. Right there is our solenoid. So that's what we're gonna be switching out today. Oof. Where is the solenoid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Jillian likes keeping large pieces of soft plastic. Just in case we need it. And like, you can't waste plastic. <laughs> It's a bad habit though, I'll admit. Oh! Oh, I knew I put it somewhere easy to access. <laughs> Here is our brand new solenoid. This puppy is gonna make Blue Moon's engine start. We hope. If not, we'll go back to the drawing board, but Joe and I both have very good feelings about this. I've got a good feeling about it. We're feeling like it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a win day, so. There we go. If the engine doesn't turn over, there are a few things to check. We used a multimeter to test the voltage at the starter battery to ensure that there wasn't an issue with the battery itself. We got a good reading between 12 and 13 volts, which signaled that the battery was fully charged and in good shape. Then we used the multimeter to check whether there was power going through the solenoid. On? Off? On? Off? So it was kind of like spurting a little bit. It would give me like a little bit of energy and then not. So does that mean that thing must be corroded, right? It's not going through. Full voltage is 13, 12 to 13 volts, but I wasn't getting that when we were turning solenoid on. So probably there's a problem with solenoid. When we checked the solenoid, we were getting super low voltage, which meant that there was likely a problem with the solenoid itself. A faulty solenoid can be caused by a bad wire connection or corrosion and wire breakages that inhibit electrical conductivity through the solenoid. We also did a visual check, traced all of the wires to ensure they were attached to something and to look for breaks in the wires and also corrosion. Okay, so we're not getting power through the solenoid, uh, which means that Hopefully this all annoys the issue. So we're gonna change that out. It should be fairly simple, just switching things out. This is our new one. And yeah, we'll go from there. We just think the solenoid has become sort of corroded and old and hopefully, fingers crossed, that is the problem. So before we muck around with anything, we're gonna turn the batteries off to avoid being shocked. <laughs> safety with electricity. So we're gonna isolate the house batteries from the starter battery by turning that off. We also need to unhook the solenoid from the starter battery because we don't wanna get shocked. Also, we should say that wing nuts are not great, but we do use them when we're working on the engine and then replace them with lock nuts when we're not working on the engine. Okay, so here's a bullet plug solenoid. So we're gonna take this off. We have disconnected that, which is bueno. We started by removing the solenoid from the base that it was attached to so we could pick it up and have better access to it. It's just screwed on with two little bolts, which I just dropped. Just in case, we always take a photo of it. Just in case something gets messed up, we're not wondering what it should look like. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> now this is free as a bird. So next step is one at a time, we're going to take the wire off of our old sol solenoid and then put it onto our new solenoid. They're the exact same, so we basically just like match it up as we go. Do you think we should start with the big ones or little ones? 
Uh, big ones? <laughs> I don't know, probably the big ones, I guess. Because <laughs> they're on the sides. Yeah, big ones. I'm assuming this is the same size as the other ones, so I'm just trying to find a... There we go, we have a fit. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy, ready tidy. <laughs> Maybe someday I won't have to say that to myself. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. Oh man, oh that wasn't that bad. <laughs> then we matched up the old solenoid with the new solenoid and started taking the wires one by one off of the old one and putting it onto the new one. This goes like this. How you doing? <laughs> good, it's a little tight down here, but we're doing good. The two top nuts ended up being stripped so we couldn't actually get the wires off of them. Well, it's never that easy. <laughs> yeah, these are stripped. Um, the things are stripped. We're gonna see if we have the stuff to just cut the wires and put new ends on. And if not, we're gonna have to kind of like pry at it a little more, but. Cutting the wires might be a little easier, I think. In search of the electrical, which I thought we had out the other day, but it's not in the immediate vicinity. Oh! So hopefully, ooh, I actually don't know if we have the right ends. Blue, but they're the big blues. Oh, I think we want the little blues. Those look too big, hey? So we don't actually have the little ends that we need to chop off the wire. So we're going with plan B, which is to take some pliers or vice, vice grips or something. And um, since it's just the two small posts on top that aren't, they're stripped, like they the nut just spins. Um, we're just gonna like wiggle it back and forth, break it off, and then we'll be able to get the wire, which is all we need. And then, you know, old solenoid will be a sacrifice. <laughs> Scratch that, we're doing plan C, and we are going to buy some ends because we, our vice grips are in the van, and it's, I think in the long run, it's just gonna be easier. And we're hungry. It's kinda of chilly today. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a stormy day. It's a good day for engine work. Everything is exactly how we left it. Taking a quick <laughs> lunch break. Two hours later, we have our connectors, ring terminals. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Okay, let's get this thing done. We ended up cutting the wires and replacing the rings on them. Oh, oops. Instead of having to break off the posts of the old solenoid. To put the new rings on, we stripped the coating off the end of the wire to expose the bare wire, slid on the new ring and clamped it. Blue and squeeze. There is our new solenoid with all of the wires. Our negative right here, two positives. And yeah, we just replaced all the wires like they were on the other one. And now is the moment of truth. Oh yeah, here's the old one. So let's hope that that was the problem. Uh, next step is to attach it to the battery again. And hopefully it works. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Once the solenoid was fully hooked up and remounted onto that base of plywood, we reattached all the wires to the starter battery, turned on the main battery switch. It's the moment of truth. I'm, uh, I'm nervous. I shouldn't be, but I am. Starter up. And tried to start the engine. Ready? Yep. Well, we're two for two now. Both our dinghy outboard engine and our sailboat inboard engine are running smoothly. Man, that feels so good. I'm so stoked that the engine's going. Um, that was like one of the biggest things that I think was stressing us both out yeah. over the last few weeks. Um, because yeah, we, we couldn't get it going. It wasn't turning over. 
and that like we need the engine to leave the dock so now that that's done we're clear like we can go whenever we want which is such a good feeling thanks so much for watching hopefully if you are having engine troubles as well we wish you luck the other things we saw is like sometimes wires can corrode so that's a good thing to check but mm -hmm. yeah i didn't realize that just that little solenoid could cause such a big issue um so that was like really helpful for us to know and it takes you could probably change it in under an hour yeah we just didn't have the stuff we needed to do it we, yeah. it would have been done so fast but yeah thanks for watching uh hopefully we'll be out sailing in the next couple weeks and yeah we'll see you next time